Okay, I'm going to try recording this. I'm not sure if we're getting my voice. Hopefully we are. Um, one thing I found that I like to do, actually, is work at a lower resolution. Um, it shrinks your world down, or your available space. You can only paint within this white cube. This is Masterpiece VR, by the way. And you can make this cube, as you can see when I started, it was as big as my body. It was bigger than my body. It's almost it's bigger than my defined space, my VR. If you see the blue grid come on, that's my chaperone mode. That's the edge of my physical space that I've defined to use for VR. Alright, so... This is as simple as we can just make a ball just like that. And if you want a bigger ball, you just make that bigger and make it bigger like that. Um, now everything is undoable. There's a history, complete history. Now that I said that, it doesn't undo that one. How about that? The undo is grayed out. Possible bug there, guys. That's okay, because what it's going to do is that. And when I undo that, it undoes one. Huh. If you want to just paint on something, you have to do it like this. If you're still in sculpt mode, I think paint should be under brush, but it's under sculpt. So, and then you can, it's like spray paint. Oh, well, and of course I've got white selected. It's, it's, I like the color wheel, it's like painter, which I like painter's color wheel. In this case, you have great big blue eyes, and right in the middle, and you have a pupil. Or is it pupil? Oh, I've got the opacity, opacity way down, no wonder. I've noticed, I see now, it looks like I can see a grid. If I zoom in here, you see a grid there where I painted. I think that's effect of the... Oh, you can also do this and sample. Oh, well, anyway, and then to, um, get my skin color back here, let's go back to sculpt mode, let's just make the skate a great big nose, comes right out towards you, mm. back in. Got big nose, he's got big nostrils down here, right? I'm just making that little big mouth. 
I'm up there. Let's do um Okay. That was a race line. Go back down here to the cylinder. Make this guy have a real long, skinny neck. And then he's probably got an animal. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what shape's an Adam's apple? <laughs> kind of a cone, I think, isn't it? What if we make another Adam's apple? Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, well, okay. And then for ears, or about ears, let's take, I'll tell you what, let's do this finally. Let's take a Taurus. Oh, I should have turned on mirror mode. But again, Just give him these simple, like, cup ears. Or to put it, it is about a high level. Huh. Okay, so this is a quick demo. Oh, okay, I'm going to go file and get saved. Go new, when you can new, it asks you to do a screenshot. So, actually, let's cancel, let's change the background to this, like we're in the studio. Let's set him down here, let's scale him up. This is usually fun to do. Oops, oh, I don't want to scale him up, because then you can't see his funny eyes. I don't want to scale him up too much. I'll just leave him sitting there like you know before. I'm gonna get rid of that annoying arrow thing. Uh, and come over here and choose a brush as your tool, and it turns it off. Because a brush, you can draw outside of your space. You can draw wherever you want to. Um, and that is actually a cool feature. You know, and put some quick. Landscape, whatever. <laughs> I like to do it. I used to do it like that. If I'm doing, oops, whoa, where'd we go here? Link. You notice, even when you're outside of that space, it still keeps that in there. So, I mean, it still it keeps the grass locked with the cube wherever I move it. To move it, I'm just gripping. You can grip either controller and move it in 3D space. Um, they do have support for materials here, which uh, perhaps this would be a better uh, grass. You know, I like that one kind of. That's almost that's good for teeth too. So come in here and go. Grab a white color and then go keep it, or if you keep it in the middle, then you're only going to see half. Well, in theory, <laughs> that's okay. It looks kind of funny. Like he's not quite human, is he? Oh, with teeth like that. Oh, actually, I know here. I made him bigger.
Here we go. And then if you think like uh, back inside, okay, so remember the color, or the spray brush is back in here. You're going to get nuts and you can come in here. Oh, I'm still on a Taurus shaped brush. It is sphere shaped brush, shaped brush. Come in here and you just like spray the inside of his mouth. Uh, and you know what? It really bothers me. If I have a sculpture that doesn't have, uh, if I've got a big nose and I don't have nostrils, it really bothers me. So let's fix that. Let's make those nostrils go way back in there. And there's going to be a big sinus cavity in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that's fun about VR, you can do nutty stuff like this. Okay, I hope this recording shows up because I'm going to share this one. Okay. Uh, oh, got to sign it, don't I? Okay, let me sign it and I'll save it and we'll get this uploaded. I think. Let's see. Ah, my name is Green. My name is Green and I endorse this message. Okay, now, another trick. Go back on your um, Go back to 4X resolution. This is what it normally looks like. Whoa. It's easy for me to lose control of that because of my, I have trouble with my hands. And I've actually got tremors. You see how I tremble there? When I'm trying to do stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, what was I going to show you? You go into, um, you make it this big, but your brush is still this small. See, so I can come in here and just sign it. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want that. Might make it unwet or even soft. If you ever wondered, yes, I get the three dots from Don Martin. Now, what's fun is that signature is not necessarily visible. Uh, oh, angles or resolutions. Let's see, what if I go back now to 1x? Pulling back in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, and of course, you can get probably, I think, in my opinion, you get a better screenshot. Oops. I'm hitting my table in the real world. <laughs> and maybe not. I like the lighting from over here better. Okay. Now, you can do two things. You can do file. You can do options. When you do a save, it's going to give you an option to do the screenshot, which you can do from wherever. Oh, it doesn't have any pupils. Hardly. Oh, well. You can also do an export to an OBJ, SGL, FBX, and, and you can include things like brushes, color, 
and you choose between triangles and quads. An export of that. I'm gonna act just for fun. I'm gonna do an export on all of them. And then I'm also gonna do I don't see how well, how does it name these, first of all. I will get back to you on that. I'm not gonna bore you all of that. And then the other thing you do is you, you hold down the okay, oh, if I didn't show you if you hit the system menu, go to Steam VR home VR view, and it's got the app and like in the background around me. 